Hello! Back again. No, that last part went long. I was so worried about one of the other parts going too long. And then this time it goes like 24 minutes. Way longer than any of the other ones. So sorry about my mismanagement of time. I will try to make it up on this one. We'll see. I know what time I started this one. So we got an elevator. We can head up. We're at the TCR building. We're investigating what's going on. We're going in an elevator. Here we go. I love the elevator music. Is it me, or does it seem like a little too quiet to anyone else? Yeah, a little too quiet. Something feels too easy about being able to walk right in here. Yeah, a little too easy. Are we sure we're in the right place, or do you think this is a setup? I actually have a good feeling that this is the right building that they're using as the center of their operation, Raph. It's, it's too late to turn back now, so let's just prepare for anything, Raph. Yeah, a little too, Raph. Mikey, focus. I'm okay, sorry, I'm ready. Direct joke slash line stolen from <laughs> Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze. Alright, we're up. Can't go back down. We don't want to go that way anyway. So let's, uh, let's save it before we walk up there. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Remember when I said be prepared for anything? Obviously, you weren't prepared enough. It was a little too easy to know you'd come here, so I prepared this lovely ambush for you. That was very kind of you, thanks. It was the least I could do. No, the least you could do is not have let them in here all the way up here. And you could get back to work while you let the adults take care of us. Underappreciated, as always. But I'm afraid he's right. To allow you to interfere any further, attack them. We get some uh, some enemies to fight. Um, let's just just attack. We don't need a poison anybody or make him blind. We'll be fine, I think. Maybe I don't know. Uh, yeah, just attack again. Same thing. Or we can keep missing everybody. Broad swing, hit everybody, Raph. Hey, got one kill. That's just kind of a TCRI guard. We obviously got the foot there, and I kind of just made a robot type enemy. Um, he's one of the guards, TCRI guard. It's not specifically pointed out that he's a robot, but in uh, all the turtle stuff, TCRI had a bunch of Utrom, which that term used a whole lot in this game. Um, basically, the same type of uh, creature that rang off the brain. Sorry, spoiler. Uh, is, and they they control those robots. So that's what that TCRI guard is supposed to be. Alright, stun move. See, that's what's supposed to happen when someone's stunned. They become unstunned. And, uh, that obviously did not happen for Leo in that other battle. But, so we got ambushed. But, at least we're gaining levels. Up to level 10 now, we're moving. Is that the best you got? Honestly, I think that is all the soldiers we have. We have an endless number of them coming at you. There's no way you will be able to defeat them all. What is the rest? What are the rest of you doing? Get them! Get ready! <clears throat> Same exact battle as two seconds ago. Let's try making them all blind. You take a little less damage that way. Alright, made a couple of them blind at least. Alright, let's uh, get that guy. Attack him. And broad swing. Maybe that'll be fine. Plus a bunch of them blinded, so I don't know that'll help. I think the bottom foot soldier is the one who wasn't blinded. Oh no, they all just missed, so it's hard to say. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Let's attack him next. There we go. There's, no, I think everyone else is blinded, so I should just, you know, slowly attack them and kill them. Use this tackle so we can stun us, too. That's alright, none of these guys are very difficult, we just have to kill them. <laughs> Let's see here. Nice. Right, 
Yeah, level 10 I think is about level where I want to be at this point. Ooh, defeated everybody. Whoop, everyone's back. They just keep coming. For each one we beat, two, take, two more take its place. They aren't going to stop until you stop moving. I could do this all day. I'm glad you're having fun, Raph. Keep in tight formation. Donnie, have any ideas? I I'm not sure. Hold them off for a few minutes. <laughs> just, pu just push his Baxter out of the way. It looks like they're building a transportation device, uh, but I can't tell where it's going to transport to. That's great, Don. But we don't have much time here. <clears throat> just take us anywhere. There isn't that isn't here now. Random it is. Oh, Donnie, how he does machines. Quickly to the platform. No, don't let them do that. Stop them. No, it's too late. Whoa! Whoa! Transportation. <laughs> Holy hell! What just happened? Where are we? Donnie? I wish I could tell you. What do you mean? What did you do to that computer? Where in the world are we? Well, what Stockman was making for TCRI was something called a translocation device. From what I can tell, he can teleport you anywhere to any dimension. So you're telling me we could be in a different dimension, like Dimension X or something? It's hard to tell exactly where we are. My best guess is that we did indeed translocate to a different dimension. I thought Dimension X was different. I've got it. I shall christen the Dimension Y. Which never gets used ever again in this. Sure, let's go with that. So, we have no idea where we are, where to go, or what to do. Way to go, Donnie. Don't blame me. I wasn't exactly a machine I've worked with before. At least I made sure we went somewhere where we could breathe. I felt that was important. You saved us, Don. You, sa you saved us, Donnie. Thank you. Now let's figure out more about where we are and how we get back home. Alright, we are back into a place where uh, a lot of the game gets spent. We're in a place that has a destroyed... Um, translocation device. But, uh, so obviously we can't use this one to get out of here. But where are we? Let's go find out. We're in Dimension Y, apparently. Dun, dun, dun. Up on a snowy mountain. Apparently. Bridge. Snowy mountain. Alright, let's keep traveling down. Get out of this mountain. Dangerous path ahead. Huh, funny. It was in English. I guess we got more lucky than I hoped. English sign. Always helpful. With oxygen. Good sign, too. Wow, this place looks so amazing. It has such a different feel to it. Speak for yourself. I mean, what I can see, we all look way smaller all of a sudden. It feels strange. Mikey, what are you even talking about? Stop trying to point things out. <laughs> Enough, guys. It looks like there may be a town down to the southwest. We should try to look for help. Southwest. You got it. You got it, Leo. Fearless leader. Uh, not in the cold, obviously. But there are enemies here. So this is the new overworld area that I was talking about before. We mistakenly got transported to a different dimension. And now we have an overworld system. Just like most RPGs I would expect to play. And I even got the characters to be tiny. Pretty happy with how that turned out, actually. <laughs> I would have liked to put a little, like, overworld map on it, but... Yeah, we can bleed. So can you. That's from the original comic. That's a badass line. Alright. Uh, south... West. So this town is what they were talking about. Let's save it up and see what's in the town. To who knew? Wait, I hear some screams from up ahead. Look, there's something going on there. Everyone quiet. We'll sneak around and see what's going on. That's Raph. Should be awesome. I will. Hmm. What's a tricep? Yeah, yeah, let's go with that for tricep time. I warned you. I warned them not to cross us, and yet you all continue to defy us. You 
when everyone in this town will continue to pay for not submitting to the brain. That's a pretty good Triceraton voice. Please, we are just trying to live in peace. All your friends have already paid the price, and you still seem to have not learned your lesson. He's gonna kill that panda guy? We have to do something. Right, Mikey. Mikey's right for a change. Nobody else here is going to stop that dinosaur thing. You guys never give me any credit for being right, but we have to hurry or else it's gonna be too late. Yeah, Mikey's right. Let's hurry. I told you to not cross us. Now you will pay the same way they all have. Stop! <laughs> Why was that rap voice? Who the hell are you? It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is that we're gonna stop you from torturing these people. It looks like you're the group that the great tourists to keep look out for. Four little turtles with different colored bandanas on. These are not the turtles you were looking for. Nice, but now's not the time, Mikey. Looks like I'll be the one who will be the honor of putting an end to the fugitive turtles for the brain. Bring it on. Alright, we gotta fight a Triceraton. Better get used to that, because there are a bunch of them in this game. <laughs> I mean, spoilers, there's a bunch of them in this game. Alright, let's see. I mean, there's just one of him. Four of us. I don't think he's that difficult, actually. Um, let's heal everybody. Sorry, if you keep hearing itching in the background, my dog's got allergies. Penelope's got allergies. She keeps scratching herself. Penelope, stop. Stop it. You're good. I know. Stop. Alright, uh, weapon break. I'm making so we can't do this for him. Yeah, that works. Okay. Don't think he has that much health, too, so we should probably be okay. He's already blinded, and I think he's Uh, Alright. And of course, the voice that I picked for a Triceraton. Also, super difficult on my voice, but. Whatever. It's there now. It sounds alright. I like that voice for a Triceraton. That's a very Triceraton like voice. It's gonna destroy my throat, so I don't mind if you hear more coffee. You did it! We were able to stop one of them. I can't thank you enough for saving my life. My brother works at the end. Please, feel free to stay there tonight. Thank you. We could use some rest. Well, thank you. We are forever grateful. Just let us know if there's anything that we can do for you. As his other pandas were already killed off. Poor other panda guys. Please, you no need to pay for last night. You should keep the plex so you can use them later. Um, plex? Yes, plex. Do you not know what plex are? They're what we use as currency around here. What do you use? Um, we use something called dollars? Dollars, huh? Well, you won't much of a use for those here. Lucky for you, I'm collecting rare things. What do you say? I'll trade you your dollars for Plex. Alright, deal. Great. Good luck out there. We're very thankful. So, instead of dollars, now we have Plex. Plex. That's the currency we're going to use. Just a brief little conversation to establish that the currency is different. Plex do not appear to be working. So... Now we have Plex instead of uh, instead of dollars, because why would why would a, another dimension use the same currency? So that has been changed. Now we're into Hunib, which I don't know if I, this is the only one that people will probably actually recognize. Hunib is one of the planets in uh, Dimension X, I believe, in the original comics. I believe it's the same planet that. Uh, it's a, I don't know. We got a bunch of sad stories here. Um, what's been going on recently? Triceraton soldiers on behalf of the brain have been taking over pretty much this whole, uh, whole dimension, is what we find out from all these different conversations. They're going around and murdering people. So basically, the Triceratons are Nazis. <laughs> I should have made, like, a symbol that would have been, like, oh, the Triceraton symbol. 
that, you know, similar to a Nazi symbol. That would have been too much. But So basically, the Triceratons are Nazis, and the brain is Hitler. Let's just think of it that way. That's an easy way to think of it. So all of these stories that if you go through and talk to everybody in all the towns, it's basically, uh, we've got these Triceratons, and they're, and they're killing people in my family, and... This town is more affected than that town. This one, fortunately, is fairly off in the corner of the map. So it's not too affected by Triceraton rule, which is why there was only one of them in this whole town. We were able to kill it uh, or destroy him, but they still lost several of their friends and family, and they're never going to forget. How could they do this to innocent people? I don't know. I don't know, but there's death in a turtles game, so keep that in mind. A little darker, even though I already killed off Shredder. Yeah, let's take a look at what you got. We got some weapons that are all very expensive. <laughs> very expensive weapons. So, we've got a Katar, which is a big, yeah, triangular blade. A Naginata, another thing. Tanfas, another thing that... Um, remember how those work. Those are kind of like baton things too. And the Njakin, another sword weapon for Leo. So I should, I want to buy some of those. Why this, there shouldn't be, there shouldn't be smoke inside. Yeah, there's not, when I came in here, the other door not have it correctly? No. Just another example of RPG Maker messing up, because there shouldn't have been any smoke in here like there was a ago. Let's buy armor for everybody. So we need four of these, four of these, four of these. Alright, now we got armor that we can equip. Optimize to sell that old armor. So we got bracers, a reinforced bandana. Whoop. Oh, there it goes. Um, and, uh, and just like a leather top. Leather armor. Let's sell off. I don't need those pieces. Eh, I'll just hold on to the pieces of cheese, I guess. It's almost 200. It's not bad. Um, uh, weapons. Don't need any of these weapons. And these bandanas. I know it's all of our original stuff, but we don't need them anymore. Um, weapons. So, we got. I can buy two peoples. Um, so let's buy a guitar. And let's buy an injection, since those two are going to be the ones who are going to be attacking the most. Boom! Injection. Boom! Tar. Alright. So, definitely other ninja weapons that can be purchased. So, I should just go through, talk to the people in the town. Don't think we need any more items, I think. Um, but you really can't progress until you go talk to the right people in this town. And in this town, the only person that you need to talk to is in the, I believe, the bottom right? Southeast of the town? Yeah, I think it's southeast. Let's go down here. Who do we got? Alright, this is someone who doesn't look like a normal panda, so how about we save it here? We'll end our part here. We'll come back for... what was this, part five? We'll come back for the next part... Uh, after this, so uh, I'll come back right in this spot next time. So I will see you then.